Hello, today we have a Nokia C32 and unfortunately it's password locked and Google account locked. This phone is on Android 13. This method works for all Nokia phones with all versions and it's very simple to do it. First of all, I will show you how you can factory reset this thing and then how you can remove the Google account from it. Let's not waste any time and watch the video. Right, we have this Nokia and it's password locked and Google account locked. How we can remove password? First of all, we need cable, right? Type-C cable and computer. And also we need turn that phone off. Try to turn it off. Let's power it off. And we need boot to the fastboot mode. Let's boot it to the fastboot mode. Oops. And how you can see, phone is in fastboot mode. Good. Now plug the cable in and plug cable to the computer. Boom. Right. On the computer part, we need go to my channel and subscribe and turn all notifications on. Thank you very much for that. In order to factory reset this thing, we need fastboot driver. I will leave link in the description. After that, we need tool. What's the tool called? Tool is called Phoenix Service Tool. Right, right, right. Okay, here we have our tool. If you don't have an account, feel free to make one. Username, email and password. If you have an account, just log in and bring it back here. When you launch the tool, you need to go to the Nokia. And here you press on Nokia and you here press services. And there you can see all information. Let's read the information and you see Android interface is connected. Good. Usually you press reset user data plus FRP. But because I'm filming the video and I wanna show you this phone actually is locked to the Google, I will do separately reset user data, reset FRP. But you usually can do reset user data plus FRP. However, if you press it, it will ask for one credit if you do it together. If you do it individually, it still asks for one credit, but individually. However, where you can get credit? Just to visit our lovely website mklbrepairs.com or .co.uk and here it's Phoenix service tool and you can purchase 6, 12, 24, 50 and so on. Credit will be credited to your account soon as you purchase. It can take 1 to 24 hours. However, let's reset user date. This operation will cost 1 credit. Good. Let's reset it. And sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it's very fast. Depends. Really depends on the situation. And it's requesting permission. And it takes time. <laughs> right. Request permission failed. Happens. Happens. Don't blame. Let's reconnect it again. And how you can see, I think because it was not ready to do that. Okay, now requesting permission. And how you can see, this time goes through very fast because I was messing around. But that's okay, that's okay. Now just wait till phone boots up. All right, even outside weather change till Nokia turn on. But that's okay. That's completely okay. Right. Let's skip connect mobile network. Let's skip that part. Connect it to Wi-Fi. 
getting your phone ready and how so you can see on top it's locked it's very locked but we are here to remove all locks from this device and how you can see verify pin or enter your google gmail in and you can't get further than this unfortunately however if we turn the phone off unplug it and go to the computer for second time and here on nokia we press services and this time i will uh, let's let boot phone into fast boot power button low volume down button fast boot mode and let's plug it in and on phoenix service tool android bootloader interface and reset user data plus frp let's press that because it's cost one credit but usually if you have pin on phone and you know phone is frp then you straight away press both and it costs one credit makes sense and credits you can purchase at our website here and you can see requesting permission requesting permission permissions are okay making factory reset okay took 14 seconds very simple and easy and now just wait till phone boots up right that was fast and let's go let's set up the phone up and prove to you it's fully working set up offline if phone is Google account locked, you will not be able to set it up phone in offline because it's locked. But if it's not locked, you will be able to set it up as normal and offline. Basic cancel. You don't need that. Skip. Skip anyway. Getting your phone ready before we were stuck there. That's okay. HMD. Skip. And how you can see, phone is fully unlocked. And it was very simple to do it. If you need credits, visit our website. If you like this video, press like, subscribe. And see you on the next one. Peace.